Okay, this is my ham radio shack. This is uh, the transceiver um, on 40 meters, the 40 meter band. And this is uh, a voice contact. You can tune it to other voice contact. And I'm going to tune it to um, the Morse code section, which is a lower frequency. So there's a Morse code station. And we've got a computer that has programs that will read the Morse code. And here you see the signal. You move this cursor to there, and it starts decoding. That's a program called CW Get. Here's the uh, CW Get program. I think it's about forty dollars, maybe forty-five, fifty. I don't know. And you can see on the top row there is the um, a peak in the in the scan of the frequencies around the frequencies that I'm listening to. <clears throat> On the bottom you can see text that this was before I tuned it in really closely and so you get a lot of garbage but you can make out the words WX which is weather last night was 48 but now very windy with temps about 68. So um, it's not perfect but with a little fine tuning you can get it pretty nice. On the next slide if you look closely on the bottom, you can see the actual sound patterns for the Morse code. I have the H above the H is a dit 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 dit, and you can see the four peaks barely there in green. A T is a one long dash. A w is dot dash dash, etc. And you can see those on the bottom. There's another one called MRP. Here's the same exchange on a different program that. MRP 40 decoder which is about seventy seventy five dollars I'm not sure it looks like it's a little better uh, again you get the waterfall at the top and you can see the Morse code dashes and dots up there um, and you can see the the uh, translation is a little cleaner on this version that's probably why it costs more weather last night was etc um, and it's it's clean it doesn't have so much junk Kind of like this one a little better. Here's another image where you can see the dots and dashes a little clearer. And you can see that it tries to make the words, puts the words all in caps. And if it can build a word out of it, it, uh, it puts that in there. So the word antenna, the last T should be an A. A T is a dash and an A is a dot dash. So it missed the, the dot on that one. You get that a lot with the... Um, with weak signals. Works a little differently. It actually tells, shows you the Morse code, and here's the translation. You see, it's not perfect, but interesting that you can do that now. So you don't need to learn Morse code. You can uh, receive it and translate it, and then use your own key to key or if you got an even more advanced setup you can uh, just enter the code here and hit play and it'll it'll control your your um, ham radio rig anyway pretty interesting <laughs>